Welcome back guys to Way of the Hunter. I think today we're just gonna go out, do some hunting, try and earn some money so we can get some new gear. I think that's the plan for today. So we can have a look. What do we have here? Oh, we have an email. Hello, Wallace. I hope this email finds you well. How are you? How is everything? It's that time of the year when Ching wants to introduce some kind of crazy twist to our menu. You know him. Last year, the Beijing duck. This year, it's our chicken recipe. A midlife crisis can take many forms. I guess this is my husband's. We will be upgrading our General Tao's chicken, but with some pheasant meat. You're very welcome to visit us again for your favorite Sichuan hot pot. I'm still holding on to your bottle of shochu. It's waiting for you here. With love, Lin. Okay. I guess we'll just accept that mission and check that out. See what that is. So I need to... Okay, so I need to go hunt some pheasant. All right. If that's the case, I need a, ah, I've got that one. So let's claim that. That's pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, everything's unlocked now. Awesome. So I guess after doing our tutorial, it unlocks everything. Let's see our attachments. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly what it does. And these boundaries, I guess we can purchase those and unlock them as well. Gear arms storage. So I'm going to put... Okay, there we go. All right. So. Equip that. Now we have a shotgun and a rifle. And our binoculars. All right. <laughs> this reminds me when Grandpa went for a pheasant hunt and forgot to take a shotgun. <laughs> Okay, I remember seeing some pheasants. I believe it was actually right down in that area that we're looking at there because last video when we went up that mountain, we scared some up over there. So I'm going to hop in the Jeep and get a little closer. Was it before the bridge or after the bridge where we scared them up? I think it was before the... I think it was before the bridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out here. We'll bring our shotgun up. And see if we can walk through this grass here. And scare some up. I see a pheasant right in front of us. Well, let's see if I can hit the thing. Yeah, there's quite a few. Got one. Let me go pick that one up real quick. Where was it? Right here? Yeah. Good lord. Am I supposed to sell it? Let's try that and see if it gives me... Yeah, okay, so it's giving me 2.14 kilograms out of 3. Actually, speaking of that, I wonder if I can change the... Yeah, there we go. Let's change it to Imperial. Imperial. 
cool. Uh, go ahead and reload. Shouldn't be but one more, I guess, and that'll take care of everything. I think I see one right there. I want to see if I can scare it up and hit it when it flies. Walking right up to it. Oh, I did not hit it. Oh, I got that one. Wait, where did it go? There it is. Okay, cool. Pick the mail. Pick up the mail from the mailbox. Okay, we'll head up there and do that. All right, let's see what we have in our mail. Dear River, I've already told you a million times, but I'll say it a trillion. Thank you so much for helping me with Bear Den Ranch. Restaurants always place their orders with me by email. I think you wrote down my email password when you visited me in hospital. I don't trust the postal service enough to write it down here. I couldn't be happier to hear that you started hunting again, despite your father's disapproval. You're an adult now. You can make your own decisions. When he found out you were hunting with me as a kid without permission and forbid you to ever visit me again, it broke my heart forever. So in a medical sense, this will help to heal the physical scars that share my heart tissue with the metaphorical ones. Do you remember Hollywood, the little fawn you named when we saw him no older than a few weeks? We're getting some details into their lives. It's pretty neat. It was summer 2002, and 10-year-old River was about to spend his first holiday with his grandparents. River could feel the adventure and mischief in his young bones. Why has River never visited his grandparents before? Wow! Dad! Dad! What? Ask his father. There was a deer! Which one is the white bud? Male deer or white-tailed deer? It has to be white-tailed, right? I don't know. Grandpa will know. Because my father-in-law knows everything. A few hours later, River was finally in Nez Perce Valley, and his joy was matched only by that of his grandparents. But not everyone shared their elation. Grandpa! <laughs> I saw a deer! It was probably a white-tailed because he had a white butt. Mule deer also have white butts. How can you tell the difference? Wallace. Richard. I want to speak to you in private. River was amazed when he entered the lodge. The walls seemed bigger somehow, and the animals looked alive. Wait here. I've got something for you. But that summer, there was one thing River was forbidden to even think about. To be crystal clear, you were absolutely not allowed to let him anywhere near a gun or anything to do with hunting. Richard, that's impossible. This is a hunting lodge after all. You know what I mean. Will you help me finish it? Days went by, and River couldn't get enough of nature. He already felt it was his best summer yet, but it was about to get even better. Ah! That's how he met April and Noah. Hi, I'm River. Ah! Why do I always have to be the animal? <laughs> because you're the youngest. Poor girl. Why? This is what hunters do, isn't it? No. Real hunters are ethical. They wouldn't make an animal suffer like this and not even retrieve it afterwards. 
River kept making the best memories he could that summer. He was also determined to find out more about his mother, as his father and grandfather never spoke of her. I didn't know my mother hunted too. Oh, you found the album. Why do we never talk about her? You'll have to ask your grandfather about that. But you can ask me anything else, sweetheart. But this secret had to wait for another day. Time flew by, and soon the summer was at an end. Wow! Try yelling something. Ahoy! On the last day, they made a new friend and named her Echo. That was a really awesome story. That's a neat little addition to to this game. Well, I guess we're gonna go and reach the meadows where Hollywood can often be often be found. Have a look at the map and see how far it is. Oh, there's Echo. Okay. We'll grab our Jeep and head down that way. anybody although I don't think there's anybody else around an animal path if I follow it we'll always find signs of animals okay mule deer it says follow the animal path well, if we look at that, the tracks are facing the this way. This is kind of neat, but the the icons that keep popping up it takes I think it takes away from the from the immersion into the game a little bit makes it a lot less challenging when it holds your hand like this there may be an option to to disable that but I'll look into that to see if I can turn that off it'd be kind of nice now I know they drink here and I can return you the time okay return to the lodge all right so I guess that was just a scouting mission then Animal static signs need zones and hunting pressure. Look for paths. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll head back up to the lodge then. Head back up to the lodge, finally. We'll go up here and see what our next little mission is. Oh, I guess we need to sleep. Go to bed and sleep until sunrise or wake up between 6 and 9. Okay. Simple enough. Alright, sun's just coming up. Well, those are neat. <laughs> Seems like Grandpa's my biggest fan. Okay, so River's a stuntman. 
All right. Guess we'll hop in the Jeep and head down. See if we can run into Hollywood. This is easy. Be quiet, move slowly, glass for Hollywood from a vantage point, and hit the vitals from 120 yards. Exactly as quick as the Alright, let's see if we can get it done. I saw a deer stand over here. I think I'm going to try and get to it. Where did I see it at? Pretty sure it was over there. Now this looks really cool. This dark lighting. Stuns it, the sun starting to shine through a little bit. Should have already been on the deer stand by now. Where is it at? I know good and well it's somewhere over here. I thought I saw one anyway. Where did I see it at? There it is. Okay. I was starting to think that I was crazy for a second. Look at it. They did an awesome job. You can see, like, if you're not familiar with walking through woods, just any woods in particular, then this is about as realistic as it gets. The trees on the ground, all the brush, everything else, the way it's grown. I mean, it's really, really good job. Super realistic. I'll look at the lighting too. Shining through. Amazing. Okay. Getting sidetracked. And get over to this deer stand. Maybe we can uh, get this mission complete. I'm kind of enjoying this little the mission also I imagine it's gonna be very linear there's not gonna be really any kind of choices I can actually make to change Wow look at that Sun look how good that looks that looks amazing Anyway, as I was saying, I don't think I'll be able to make any sort of, I guess, decisions that are my own. I think it's just going to be a very linear storyline, but I'm still looking forward to it. So far, it's really good. We get to know, get to know the main character, River, and learn about his life and his grandfather's. But we'll still be able to go and go out into the open world and do whatever kind of hunting and stuff that we want to do. Alright, let's see if we can let's see if we can get this this deer. We know that they were coming to this watering spot or down to this creek to drink. We had found the trail. So I'm assuming that him and some others are gonna be coming down that trail at some point. I guess I'll have to pick him out from the crowd. See if we can take him down. Because that is one thing. Even in in real life, if you're if you see a if you're hunting and you see a deer with messed up antlers on one side or a deformity of some sort, limping, you know, anything like that, that's part of a you know kind of the you know this game pushes ethical hunting that's part of that if you see a deer like that even though if you're out there and you're looking for you know a big monster buck to take you need to 
just go ahead and swallow your pride or whatever it may be and take that deer down and it'll be good it'll be you know it'll be for the good of the the other deer and the population that's one of those things a lot of people don't think about or probably don't even care about but it is it's very important Hollywood. Uh, he said that's Hollywood, but I do not see Hollywood. Where's Hollywood? I'm not seeing this deer anywhere. Okay, so we've been sitting up here for... A while now and I still haven't seen this deer even though the game apparently have seen it I, I don't know so I'm gonna climb down I guess and go over and see if we can maybe I don't know maybe it's seen it hidden maybe it's behind the trees or something so we'll go down and see if we can see it I just noticed too it does not look does not look like the wind is in my favor I think I just yeah I can hear a I can hear a buck grunting somewhere There we go. One of these him. I think that might be him right there. Yep. That's him right there. Okay, what's our wind? It's blowing right at him. So I need to track back just a little bit. And hopefully that wind doesn't, doesn't hurt me. So I'll go back to this little tree line here and walk back around. I guess I could have went to that deer stand right there and waited on him. But I don't have patience. Oh, there they are. That one's looking right at me, too. Looking right at me. I am not going to move. Look at that. The AI is really good in this game, too. real life that doe probably would have started stomping trying to get me to move blowing a little bit did I scare him I think I did scare him I sure did that's a doe do, do, do. There he is right there. We'll watch him for a second and see where he goes. Hopefully they'll calm down. Okay, good. They kind of calm down a little bit. I wouldn't be afraid to take this shot, but they want me to take it. I think they said at 120 yards. There he goes running up the hill a little bit. Not sure exactly where I could go. 
gonna try and take it real nice and slow and see what happens see if I can ease up to this little patch of grass right here That animation is broken. <laughs> Looks like my arms. Okay, that makes it a little bit better. <laughs> and I'm not sure if people actually even hunt like this. We never did. We always just had a deer stand. You go to the deer stand, you sit there, and you wait for the deer to come. You'd go and you'd scout. You'd scout your, your, you know wherever you were hunting at you'd scout it out see where the most I guess action was finding you know deer sign scrapes rubs you know trails prints whatever and then you just hunt those locations but I've never seen anyone actually hunt like this all right where did he go he's way up that hill said 120 but i think i'm going to take this shot and see what happens here pull out my rifle here let's see if we can nail him that was a hit he's hurt Come on there, buddy. Lay on down. Yeah, I think he laid down right there behind that. All right. We'll give him a couple minutes. Let him lay there. We don't want to push him. Because if he's laying there and dying, and we'll we go over there and scare him up, he might run off somewhere where we can't find him. And I keep trying to get rid of the objective, but it keeps popping back up on the screen. Like, I know, I know. Leave me be. Those other deer still sitting over there? Oh, look at that one. I'm thinking about it. But I'm not going to. <laughs> All right. That's definitely Hollywood. Got a double long. Yeah, that rack was messed up pretty bad. Oh, I said single long. What I got? 325 pounds. That's a that's a big old deer. So I guess it's a mule deer. I've never hunted mule deer before. We always hunted whitetail. All right, so taxidermy. got it all right back to the lodge maybe maybe is that doe still sitting there I think it turned and ran yep Made it back to the lodge. See what the game has in store for us here. Uh, okay. I guess this is where it wants us to put the 
Hollywood's father. Slot two. Okay, okay. There we go. We got it figured out. Perfect. There it is. Father and son. Same exact rack. Awesome. Alright. Looks like we have another another mission, maybe. Let's look at it and see what we got. Duck and dine meat order. Alright. Dear Mr. Willow, that was quite a catch you sent us last time. The liver of one of the ducks was so big it qualified as a fine meat for f foie grass? Excuse my um, French, I guess. Foie gras? Uh, I don't know. It's a delicacy my grandmother made when I was a little kid, and I had no idea how it was made. I remember how terrified I was when I saw the process of gavage. I, I don't know what gavage is either. My granny was force feeding her poor geese so that she could fatten up their livers. After that, foie gras never tasted the same. <laughs> I did a little bit of research, and it looks like this time of the year is ideal for duck livers in your area. The ducks have access to so many seeds that they gorge themselves and develop a fatty liver all on their own. Now I know it's extremely rare, but I would be beyond grateful if you managed to catch more of those lovely fat ducks. Thank you in advance. Frank Duxbury. <laughs> duck and dine manager okay so we'll knock this mission out swamps north of bear den ranch were always full of wild ducks all right sounds like we're headed to the swamps head up north There we go. I see some ducks flying right there. So I'm guessing this is the swamp that it was talking about. Okay. So I guess we'll see what it takes to, to hunt these guys. Okay, looks like they're just going to come right in to me. <laughs> got one, got two. Ducks going. We got three down now, and I can't find a single one of them. So you would think that they would be somewhere in this water. I'll look around for a minute and, and see if I can find them. If not, I'll try again, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and try again because here the ducks come right now. Alright, so it's right in front. Got that one. 
Okay, so I got that one. Let me run straight out there right now and see if I can find it. Straight line. Okay, there he is. Sold that guy. We've got two more of those laying somewhere. Yeah, I can hear y'all. Where are the ones that I already took? I hate to just leave them, but might not have much of a choice. Got that one. All right, following it down. Right there. All right, we got that one. Now we need one more. Wow, really? That's not fair. <laughs> that one too. Oh, I guess that one wasn't quite big enough. So I'll keep looking for the other ones real quick while I wait on the ducks to come back. There they come again. I'm just going to have to make sure every time I shoot one. Yeah, every time I shoot one, I have to watch it fall. that it was going down look at all them birds no way too far it's hard to tell on on these games how far things actually are away especially when they're flying because you don't have depth perception which is a huge deal all right here we go all right i folded that one look at that Really? That's a mallard. I'm pretty sure that was a mallard. It looked like a mallard. Yeah, that's a mallard. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got it. I don't know if this other one was a mallard or not. Well, it's a mallard, but a mallard. Drake. Yeah, this is a hen. There we go. We made it back to the lodge. Go and maybe turn this mission in. See what they have to say. We have something from Nicole Steele. I've had some calls regarding suspicious noises in the area from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. with coordinates I am sending in this attachment. Can someone please check the area ASAP? Thanks. We'll go ahead and accept that mission. But we're not going to do it today. We'll do that one in the next episode. Seems like something interesting. Get to go around at night. Maybe some poachers or some teenagers out in the woods just having fun. We'll see. But anyway... Like I said, we got to do some pretty cool stuff today. We went on a pheasant hunt first thing. 
then we were able to bag old Hollywood here. Set him up with his pops. Then we were able to go do some duck hunting. So, I think we'll call it on that. Thank y'all for watching this video. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.